Now, we've heard from the Vegetarian Society, from John, who says having a vegetarian diet is the best diet to have. Meat is not good for you, it's not good for the environment, it's not good for animals. Ruth Kimber, though, says, look, we're, we're a meat-producing family. I feel strongly the mixed diet is the healthiest diet. I want to hear from you today. Tell me why. Maybe you've got a different sort of diet if you're a pescatarian or a... Um, I think that's just fish, isn't it? Or um, a vegan. Tell me why you have the diet that you have. Should we eat meat? Text Ben. Start your message with the word Somerset. BBC Somerset. Right, Right, good morning to Irene in Wellerton. Hello, Irene, good morning. Good morning. Now, are you a meat eater or a vegetarian? Meat eater. Okay. Um, I was going to say veggie then, but for some reason I thought that might might sound offensive. I'll just say veggie's okay, isn't it? Yeah. Um, But you're a carnivore. Yes. Um, Tell us why. I suppose it's what we were brought up with meat and two veg on a Sunday and meal meat is part of a meal at tea time to bulk up your food. Okay, so it's sort of habit, sort of tradition. Mm. Okay, and, and you've never considered uh, just having vegetables and having a vegetarian diet? No. I As mean, we've had one night, well, uh, sort of like eggs, beans and chips for quickness, but there's usually sausages, fish, um, ham. Yeah. Or something, you know, thing, but sometimes for quickness, yes, you do whip in egg, beans and chips, you know. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Why, um, why do you love meat so much? Is it, is it the, the, the taste of it? Is it because you know it's, it's good for you in certain ways? I mean, what, what sort of meat do you have? Um, we have um, pork loin chops, usually roasted and frying. I know it's frying steak, but we roast frying steak, yep. which we buy from fresh from local supermarkets. Um, my husband likes all the game foods. He's a game bird. Like birds, what? Rabbits, pheasants, really? pigeons. Yeah, all that. He's quite uh, good in winter time. He gets all his own meat, but we have to buy ours. <laughs> oh goodness! Okay, um, so you buy yours from the supermarket. Then is it is it high quality stuff? I mean, I know you said you get the frying steak. I mean, do you do, do you try and sort of temper that with other bits of meat that are higher quality? If if you know, sort of inverted commas. Um. Not really, because some, I mean, some of it is, in the, even in the supermarkets, sort of like the filleted steaks, now they're so expensive and so tiny. Yeah. And it, you know, we buy it nice and lean, it looks nice, and the pork, the equivalent to a pork chop without the bone in it, <clears throat> we buy packs of them and have them roasted or something like that, and when I, if we go, we're going for a meal out on Wednesday, our local pub, for a good old juicy T-bone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you buy the argument that um, meat isn't good for you? Oh, I don't know, because one day it's meat, one day it's butter, one day it's chicken. If you listened, I think you would starve anyway. So it's the, it's the mixed messages that you struggle mm. with on the health front. Irene and Willison, thank you very much. Let's speak to Annie Lanigan, who's chair of the Somerset um, Colorectal Cancer Support Group. Hello, Annie. Oh, good morning. Can no, I just correct one thing? I'm no please longer do. chair. Please do. Okay. I'm a member, but no longer chair. No, like a lowly member, Annie. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Well, it's great to have you with us. Now, I know that um, you um, can talk to us a bit about sort of the, uh, the, the diet when it comes to, um, to illnesses, but just tell us about your personal situation. Do you eat much meat, red meat? We eat red meat, I should think, about once a week. Yeah. Um, We find quite often when we go out to dinner with friends that they serve red meat, so we don't eat a lot of red meat at home because we, you know, we eat with friends quite a bit. Um, We tend to eat more fish and loads of vegetables and fruit. We, in fact, always had that kind of diet before I was ill with bowel cancer, but certainly since I've had that condition, I've been really careful not to eat too much meat because it takes longer to digest and pass through the system. Okay, and and is that something that you were directed to do? Um, Well, I guess I always kind of knew it, but once I'd had the uh, condition, then it was brought to my attention that I should have loads and loads of fibre. If the food that you eat takes a long time to pass through your body, and I think there's a, a kind of optimum time, they say, of 24 hours or sometimes, and if something like that. Yeah, so obviously afterwards, then you have to be extremely careful, don't you? Yes, you do. But at the same time, of course, you've got to have a diet yeah. that's full of iron and protein. And, of course, meat does give iron and protein. So if you're going to cut red meat out of the diet, you've got to replace it with something else. Mm. Do you enjoy your diet now? Yes, love it. I do try to eat a diet that keeps me on the go. 
Lovely to speak to you. Annie Lanigan, thank you very much. Um, ch- uh, not chair anymore, but member of the Somerset Colorectal Cancer Support Group. So let's speak to Charles, who is in Pencilwood near Wincanton. Is that right, Charles? That's right, yes, thank indeed. You, thank you for calling. What do you want to say? Um, well, I'm a meat eater. I'm a sheep farmer. And um, two glib answers Go on. to start with. One, if meat wasn't meant to be um, eaten by human beings, why, why should it taste so good? <laughs> right. <laughs> and secondly, um, if we were meant to be vegetarians, we'd need a different digestive system, like the cows or the sheep. We'd need more than one stomach. OK. What, um, what do you farm, Charles? Oh, I'm a sheep farmer. Sheep farmer. OK, for, for, for meat? Yes. OK. Now, you coming at it, though, from a business angle, aren't you? Yeah, you, I you am. obviously want people to eat meat because well, that's your business. Uh, yes, I do, because it, 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 it's the only sensible thing is, is to graze sheep or beef. How long have you been farming? Uh, all my life. And always been a sheep years. farmer? Yes. OK, that's always been the case. Yes. It previously, 20, 30, 40 years ago, it was more popular to eat the kind of the maybe less um, palatable to say um, parts yes, of animals. I, know. I think I, I did find it harder to sell the offal, the liver and, yeah. and kidneys and so on. People, Not many people wanted. Just to be very personal, Charles, what, what's your diet like? We have a little bit of meat every day, um, or pretty well every day. And do you mind me asking I'm, your age? I'm 66. 66. Good for you. Charles, thank you very much for calling. Charles in Pencilwood, which is near Wincanton, a sheep farmer there, who simply says, <laughs> well, why does it taste so good if we're not meant to eat it, and why don't we have two stomachs? Well, there you go. We're not cows, but it's an entirely personal thing. Charles has his view, and I want to hear from you as well. Travel. BBC Somerset. And here's Sky. Thanks, Ben. The roads are largely looking good, just some slow traffic around. The motorway is looking right on the M5 and the M4, both clear, as is the A303. Through Bristol, there's some slow traffic on the A37 Wells Road. That's in the road.